It's a beautiful day here in North Carolina. So me, Mike, and Maddie, that's my husband Mike, and my daughter Maddie, and the dog Tommy, we decided to grill out. Mike's been uh, smoking a pork butt since what time, Mike? 7.30 this morning. <laughs> and we got some sides that we're gonna do up, and we're gonna get those on here shortly. All right, so Mike's got the pork almost ready, so I'm working on the sides. So I'm gonna make some grilled cabbage with a lime vinaigrette, and then I'm also gonna get the uh, corn on the cob ready to go. We're going to uh, grill the corn on the cob with the husk on. I'm gonna make a celery seed butter for the corn on the cob, and the uh, cabbage, I'm gonna make the lime vinaigrette. We're gonna marinate the cabbage in the lime vinaigrette, and, um, and then we're gonna put it on the grill as well, okay? So to start on the cabbage, we're going to cut it down into four to six pieces, depending on the size of your cabbage. Uh, so basically, for sure, you want to cut it in half. When you're cutting through something really um, hard, and of course, you could always put a towel on the end of that, so that in case your uh, hand slips, you're not cutting your, slicing your hand at all. So we'll just do that. Now, let's see here. I, probably, I think I'm actually just, yeah, I'll do this in uh, thirds. One thing you want to leave the core on here. You don't want to core your cabbage. This is what's going to hold it together on the grill, okay? Actually, I'm just going to do uh, three of them. I'm going to go ahead and put them in the bag. We'll whip up our lime vinaigrette. We're going to make this vinaigrette just like some of the other vinaigrettes we've made. Uh, this is a lime vinaigrette. So uh, I started here with a couple of fresh squeezed limes, two of them. Um, it's going to be very, very tart. All right. Uh, you can sweeten it up with a little honey if you like. Also for your vinegar, um, I would suggest using a rice wine vinegar or an apple cider vinegar that have a little bit less acidity than some of your other vinegars. Here I actually have a 50-50 mix uh, because as you can see, I was out of rice wine vinegar and uh, forgot to buy more. So, um, so I'm gonna mix mine uh, half and half, rice wine vinegar and apple cider vinegar. I'm gonna add in the lime juice. I'm also gonna sweeten it with a little bit of honey so I'm going to sweeten it up with a tablespoon or so of honey. And I'm also going to cut the lime with some orange juice. I've got about a half cup of orange juice in there. That'll sweeten it up a little bit more and cut the acidity a bit. Now we'll add in our oil. couple of squirts of Dijon just to give it some body. And it looks like we need to add just a little bit more oil in there. And then we're just going to pour it into our cabbage here and get those marinating. We're gonna sprinkle them with salt and pepper whenever they actually go on the grill. And we'll probably also Put a little bit of brown sugar on them when they go on the grill. All right, we've got them in our bag. We're just gonna kind of move them around every half hour or so. You know, you wanna put them in there a couple hours prior to just so they're getting some of that good flavor in there. So now I'm gonna get the corn on the cob ready to go. So like I said, we're going to grill it with the shuck on. So you want to, the, um, the really exterior outer leaves, I just go ahead and start with that. Uh, take those off, uh, get rid of those, okay? We don't need those. Now we're gonna save some of the interior ones. And then as you get to the corn silk, you're gonna want to throw all of this uh, portion away, obviously. So I'm gonna get it, try to get as much of this off as possible. And I'm gonna prepare, I'm gonna get all three of these ready to go, uh, just like this one. And then I'm going to uh, take them to the sink. I'm going to uh, rinse them a little bit. 
uh, just to uh, help me get some more of this corn silk off. And then I'm going to soak them in salted water. Soak them in salted water for at least 30 minutes before you put them on the grill. That'll keep your, uh, your shucks from uh, catching on fire. Don't want your shucks to catch on fire. That'd be like a, oh shucks. <laughs> the shucks are on fire. <laughs> All right, so that looks pretty clean. All right, so uh, like I said, we're gonna rinse them up. Uh, and then I'm going to layer the leaves back together the same way. And I'm not doing anything to season them, okay, other than the, uh, the salt water soak, okay? The salt water soak, like I said, is going to uh, keep your shucks from catching on fire. Plus it's going to, uh, to give the, uh, the corn that uh, salt intake, like when we're blanching our vegetables, you're kind of just doing that in cold water, you're adding that salt in. That corn will start absorbing that salt. And, uh, and then when you're grilling it, then you've already got that seasoning on it. When it comes off the grill, we're going to, uh, we're gonna brush them with the celery seed butter. So this will be how they go on the grill then. And we're just gonna rotate them throughout the cooking process. So now I think it's time to come out here and check on the pork. How's it going, Mike? We're good. <laughs> We're actually on hour nine of the smoke. All right. We did nine hours of indirect heating. Uh, most of our heat was coming from the smoker itself. Uh, just now I added a little bit more heat to the grill because we need to get our temperature up to 195 degrees before it can be tinted. Uh, as you can see, I got the aluminum foil ready to go. Uh, I'm about to wrap it so I'm going to do the last hour and a half, two hours cooking with the aluminum foil on there. That's going to hold all the moisture and all the juices inside there and allow it to cook from the inside out. Uh, as you can see we have a really good char on the outside of the fat. You want to do fat Ooh. side up anytime you do grilling of a pork butt or anything that is fatty. So we have the fat up um, and like I said, this was at hour nine, and I'm getting ready to wrap it. I have a little bit of heat extra inside the grill, but I have all the heat inside the smoker itself. So we're going to tent this thing for a while. I'm going to cook it for about two more hours, and this thing is going to be ready to pull. All right, and we got our sides ready to go on the grill anytime. Okay, so I've got all the corn uh, shucked and then put back together. And I've got it soaking here in the salt water. So that'll just soak, like I said, for at least 30 minutes. So I'll probably turn it over in about 15 minutes just to make sure it's all getting that salt water on there. I put about a quarter cup of uh, uh, kosher, kosher salt in here. So uh, I gave it a taste, taste, uh, taste like salt, <laughs> salt water. <laughs> anyway, 30 minutes and then we'll get that on the grill. All right, so we've marinated our cabbage in the lime vinaigrette. This is stink. So we're gonna take it out. We're gonna sprinkle it. Mm -hmm. We're gonna save this juice because we might want to throw it on as we're cooking them too. And we're gonna sprinkle them up with a little salt and pepper. Mm -hmm. I like it. I like it. Yeah. <laughs> okay, Maddie, it's your turn. You get to sprinkle on the cabbage. You sprinkle this onto the cabbage, okay? This is brown sugar and paprika mixed together. We're going to sprinkle a little bit of that on the cabbage. Yep. And give it a little bit of sweetness and a little bit of the smoked paprika flavor. Do the other side. This will also make it caramelize a little bit as it's cooking. 
we have our corn cobs that came out from soaking in the salt water. We're gonna save this in case you wanna add it later. Uh, the marinade in the cabbage did several things for this cabbage. It has pre-tenderized the cabbage and it'll add a lot of moisture to it as it cooks. While our vegetables are on the grill cooking, we're going to melt some butter down and we're just gonna add a little bit of celery seed into the butter, about a quarter of a teaspoon and that'll make our drawn butter for the corn on the cob. All right, that's it. Now we go and put them on. So we got our vegetables going on the grill now. Both of them are gonna take about 20 to 25 minutes to cook. We're going to close the lid on them and get them nice and hot and we'll rotate them here in about five minutes. Come on, look at yeah, it. Yeah, look at that pork. At oh my gosh, guys. Everything just came off. That looks delicious. Thank you, Mike. Thank you, Maddie, for your help. Oh, the smoked pork pup with the grilled cabbage with the lime vinaigrette and then, of course, our grilled corn on the cob that we did with the husk on. We had a half can of baked potatoes left over from the other night. We're gonna serve all this with some barbecue sauce and then our butter with our celery seed for the corn on the cob. All right, all right, We're having fun here. One, two, three. Hot Mom's Hot Dinner Club! <laughs> Look at that smoke on that thing. You're brushing the butter on there? It's looking at grease. It's <laughs> just butter. All right, gonna do daddy's while he's pulling the pork? Mm -hmm. Good job. Yeah. <laughs>